Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are going to be making a fabulous card using this Winter Wonderland collection from Kanban. So we're going to start off by popping out the elements that we want and in order not to damage it I'm just using my craft knife to cut through those notches. So now I'm going to get to make my card base and I've got this beautiful Creative Expressions aqua coloured card stock. I've cut it down to 11 and a half by five and three quarters and then I'm scoring it at five and three quarters to make a five and three quarters square card and um, I'm just using my Martha Stewart scoreboard there it just helps when you've got the thicker card stock just to make it a really nice crisp score line so before I work on the outside of the card I want to just add an insert to the inside. The collection comes with matching inserts and as you can see it's one of these that are fold up so you can have it all folded or you can chop it to size so I'm going to chop it down to one quarter of that and then chop that one quarter down to a five and a half inch square piece of paper which I am then going to just take a tape pen put a line of tape across the top of that piece of paper and then just center that onto the inside of my card and leave it as a loose kind of flap insert so I think that looks quite nice just for something different so then I'm taking two pattern papers from the collection and I'm cutting those down to five and a half inch square each and then I'm taking the one that's sort of kind of all the light sort of sparkly light look and I'm sticking that down as it is just again using tape pen it's a paper weight so it's a good quality paper weight but it is a paper weight so it's perfectly fine to use those tape pens it'll stick down fine with that I'm then going to get my snowy look piece of paper and I'm going to take a um, actually my fuse ruler and it's just got a wobbly edge to it and I'm just going to go across and use that to help me rip across that piece of paper it's just to create a look of the snow at the bottom and kind of a sparkly sky kind of look at the top and I think that came out really well actually and then again I'm just going to use my tape pen I'm just going to go around all the edges I'm not going tight up to that wobbly edge I don't particularly want that to sit down perfectly flat and glued I think it looks quite nice having it slightly sort of loose away from the um, background card it just gives a slight dimension to it now I'm going to those pieces that I popped out from the sheet of toppers and I'm taking the first frame and again I'm going using my tape pen and I'm just going around all four sides and I'm sticking that down uh, at a perfect square angle so it's just evenly spaced on all four sides then there's a thinner piece as a as your next piece now you could just do that as they had um, where it sat evenly inside the other one maybe do it at a different height but I decided to do it using my tape pen again so it was flat as was the first one but I'm just angling it so that we've got a sort of a jaunty angle going on with that piece and then finally I'm going to take my centerpiece which is my lovely horse and on this occasion I'm using my uh, 3D foam and again I just was thinking about it for a minute and then I decided no I'm going to actually go in straight so that it matches perfectly square on to the outside frame so it's only that inside middle frame that's at the jaunty angle and then finally um, with regard to these elements I'm just taking my two little sentiment pieces one you'll see I've got half with foam on and half that I use tape pen and you can see here the reason why is that one half of that is off the edge of the horse which is already raised up so you needed to make sure that one half was 
raised up as well next as a little accent of the color of the background card the aqua from creative expressions i used some lovely pearls in each of the corners that match that and also the sentiment color and i thought that worked really well i then finally decided it really did need a little bit of sparkle on that snow on the horse so i just used my stickles just a crystal stickles here and just kind of lightly scribbled with the nozzle across the base underneath the horse where the snow would be that it was running through and then in the background which you can't really see here there's kind of these sort of snowflake kind of star very lightly in the background sort of just there so I just went over those just to add a little bit of sparkle to the background there as well and that is it that's the card for today so I hope you've enjoyed watching it with me don't forget to hop on over to the blog post if you're on YouTube because there's lots more photos and information on that blog post anyway thanks so much for watching I will see you again soon and bye for now bye bye <laughs>